Strange lights and sounds, red and blue warp portals appeared over Italy and Hungary, accompanied by trumpet sounds. Now I saw such a red sky towards the west. We know that the uh, sun rises in the east, but it was uh, during the winter and I was, it was early Sunday morning. It was still dark and I was picking up the priest to take him from his uh, house to the church. And that was around, what, quarter after six in the morning. It was still dark and before sunrise and we saw this red cloud not a cloud basically it was a light that looked like a cloud to the west towards the west and we know that that was really a uh, an extraordinary unexplained phenomenon because there's nothing that should be w red there but anyway this has been also seen over italy and hungary recently but not only there also in in asia and uh, back in March 27th, a huge red ring of light appeared in the sky over central Italy. I guess that's the time about the time that I saw it. And now it just also happened to be a similar thing, only blue, appearing a few days later in April in Budapest, Hungary. And the gigantic red light ring over central Italy lasted only a few milliseconds, but Walter Binotto photographed it while observing the phenomenon from a small town of Posagno in the foothills of the Alps mountains. Officials always say, as always, are trying to sell the weak-minded version of sprites, elves, and blue jets, while conspiracy theorists are pondering over Nibiru and the invasion of aliens. But what I saw did not ask uh, last for a few milliseconds. It was there for a good, what, five minutes? I was waiting outside the priest's house to pick him up. At least five minutes. But then we had to drive away, so it was uh, towards the, as I was driving towards the left of me, so I couldn't keep my eyes on, you know, on something that I was not looking at in front of the road. But anyway, officials always say there's something else. Now, on April 3rd, a similar phenomenon went, uh, was observed over Budapest, Hungary, and this time it was blue in color. Supporters of Nibiru have their own topic. Everyone is discussing a similar spot uh, taken these days in Germany. So what is going on here? Although ufologists are seeing an alien mothership in every cloud, the other day a scientist was strained by a nearby square cloud which the wind could not blow away, and having photographed it in maximum resolution and after passing it through filters, the dude saw a cube in the cloud. Nobody knows for sure what shone over Budapest and what happened in Italy and Germany but what we know for certain is that nothing like this has ever happened in our memory. Previously, the media worked differently and crowds of TV people flocked to every anomaly to discuss the phenomena, but there were no lights, there were square clouds, flying balls and rods, but not in such wild numbers. They were seen only very occasionally. Now probably every third person has seen some kind of a UFO with its own, light, with its own eyes. So the increasing in the frequency of the phenomena is obvious. In the last decade, many wonderful and incomprehensible things have appeared on planet Earth that have not been born here, in particularly some sprites, elves, and blue jets. Elves are the so-called emission of light and very low frequency perturbations due to electromagnetic pulse sources. The abbreviation for this highly scientific blah 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 is precisely elves. It's assumed that the rings are formed by excited nitrogen molecules that are bombarded with electrons from lightning or a sprite in the center of the ring. And as it is clear, it's impossible to photograph an elf as well as sprite. The phenomenon begins and ends very quickly, but you can record it on video and then take a photo. Well, what I saw didn't happen quickly. I was there a good five minutes waiting for the priest to come out of his house. Now, in relation to the red ring in Italy, Mr. Bonito does not show a photo with a lightning in the center, so where did the electrons come from, which made nitrogen glow, remained un undisclosed. Therefore, scientists now have to come up with a new th term, for example, elves 2.0. It will denote a special kind of elves without a source to distinguish them from elves with lightning in the center. And in the light of the above, we see that some various change, serious changes are brewing in the world. Not only the new phenomenon of sprites, elves, and blue jets has appeared in the atmosphere, but this sensation is also somewhat mutating. Additionally, global news channels hush up over 
possibly interconnection to the huge ring phenomena, such as the mysterious trumpet sounds, and although the news are collected slowly, they gradually reach the masses. Everything around us is jumping at some wild pace, and sooner or later, we will get answers. We suspect that it will be all, it will all end, up, end up in a warp portal, and perhaps aliens will appear and officially lead everyone there. Or maybe Nibiru will appear, dropping its camouflage, allowing us to see it very closely, just like Jupiter. Some of the above may happen in the very coming years, perhaps even months. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. This is from Solask on Collective Spark. Thank you. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.